All right, Luis, so coming away with a point on the road, even though obviously you wanted to come away with three, and, but can you just assess today's game and, and the resiliency of this club? I'm just really grateful for Bradley Ray Phillips. And the reason we have a point is because of Brad's spectacular plays. And we know when it comes to games like this, especially when it's going to be a gritty battle, it's guys making plays, and Brad did that for us on the offensive end. With that being said, defensively, We've been so good all year, and then you look at the last two games, we've conceded six. So from our vantage point, at least defensively, there's there's room for improvement. We have to get that right because we're going into the final stretch. Five games left, a lot to play for, top two seeds, supporter shield. But more than anything, just confidence going into the playoffs that we can shut it down, that we don't give up much. And today just, just wasn't our best day defensively. When you see Bradley just making all these goals out of nowhere. What do you think back in your back at your net? Because obviously you're down by one, then he t levels it up at the first half. You're down by one again, he levels it again. You're thinking how much time is left so we can try and get a third, and he just does it out of the blue. Yeah, when Brad scores, I just thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thank God for Bradley Ray Phillips. I'm, he's just a, he's an incredible teammate. He's an incredible forward. A great example for the younger generation when it comes to professionalism and just making plays when it counts. And yet, the resiliency within this group to fight back, to get a point, says something about us. But I think the larger talking point isn't necessarily the point that we got, but the fact that we've conceded three goals again. And I know defensively, we, at least internally in the locker room, we spoke at length about it, that we have to hold each other accountable and it has to be better. We or die. How do you feel personally, personally when the team allowed three goals? I take every goal personal. I feel like this is part of the reason why I've been able to get to where I'm at. I just feel there's always room for improvement and opportunities to make a save. You look at the first goal and you think, it's really unfortunate the first goal. One, we, we turn the ball over and, and we're not in a good position to react. And then even when we do react, we deflect it. And I feel like his shot was, was coming more in my area and then unfortunately hits Kamar and, and, and goes into the side netting. You look at the second goal, it's an incredible finish, but again, we're just loose. Marking-wise, we're loose. And, and then the third one was, was really embarrassing for everyone involved. So when I look at it personally, the thing that I think of most is how do I get my guys engaged so that in those plays we are doing the right thing. But then, of course, I'm going to look at the video and think, how can I save that? How can I stay up a little bit longer to save that? How can I push a little bit more? So it's always been that way. Since I was 11 years old and I started playing goalie, every time I give up a goal, I, I can't help but take it personal. Now I don't cry like I used to when I was a little kid. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I constantly ask myself, how can be, I be better? And, and right now, it's, it's something that I think everyone defensively is asking themselves. If I can ask you about the save you did make, uh, what happened when Rooney was attacking with Tim? Because it looked like you were ready to uh, go forward to play the ball, but then it looked like you were like in no man's land a little bit, and then you were able to stick your leg out, and then Aaron was able to clear away that rebound to force a corner. Yeah, when I think about the play, it was a ball that was played through, and I feel like if we're at Red Bull Arena, that ball just rolls to me. Mm -hmm. And yet, because the turf is different here, it's a bit spongier, it holds up. And even in the situation, he felt like Tim had a good position. And yet somehow Rooney, using his body, was able to wedge himself in. And so then at that point, it's not necessarily come out as quick as I can. I'm just trying to read where his movement's at. And when I first size up where he's at, I'm thinking, okay, he may chip. But as soon as he takes a touch across his body, at that point, I shift over and just be big. And so that's what I was trying to do. It was very fortunate that it goes off of me. And and the guys hustled back to make the play, but it's just one of those moments where it ends up being a really big moment, and this is why I'm back there is to make plays. 16 days ago in Montreal, the team was just run out of gas. Mm -hmm. It was a gap a little bit defensively. Here we are in D.C., it seems that like the things have con continued on. Was there any talk between then and now about tightening things up defensively? Uh, was there any discussion? Because I saw a lot of remonstration, mm -hmm. you know, between the guys. You know, nothing really demonstrative. It was like, hey, you got to cover this guy tight enough. And then I saw you guys trying to keep up the energy. Was there a lot of talk in the locker room about going over, you know, keeping it simple? Uh, for the sudden, you know, give up that many goals? Or well, to answer the first part of your question, when we gave up three goals against Montreal, we were thinking five. 
games in 15 days, this is an outlier. It's the end of a really long stretch of the season. And so we'll just sort of cast it off. And yet now you can't. It comes into the equation when you look at the last two games and we've conceded three goals in each of them. There's a part of us that has to really take a posture of humility because we've been so good all season defensively and now all of a sudden is it more than an aberration and I think in this case it is I think we've just become a little too complacent with the way that we play knowing that we're going to be good and, and yet thinking you're going to be good is a lot different than actually being good and so when we're on the field we weren't necessarily talking about tightening it up because at that point we're losing so we know it could get looser we said stay in it keep our heads in it and then when it became 3-3 it was, hey, let's just get a point, right? Because even when we're down 2-1, we're thinking we still can get three points. Even when we're down 3-2, we're thinking, hey, there's an opportunity here. And once we score the goal, because of the, the time that's left in the game, it's, guys, do whatever it takes, do whatever it takes to, to get the one point. And I think really, outside of Brad's performance, that's the only positive we can say is to half positive, we got a point. Going forward, uh be. It's crazy. I'm cramping. This is. Nuts. <laughs> I'm trying to stand here and talk to you guys, and I'm like, no. you guys are stressing me out. <laughs> I'll make this quick. No, we're going forward. It's going to be confidence of things getting back to you. It's to say restoring order defensively. Do you feel confident going in? Just what do you see um, going forward from here? Is there any things you need to change? Um, well, I'm definitely anything. confident because it's not a question of personnel. We have great guys. We have a really, really good defensive line. We have guys that can come in and take their place and understand how we have to play so that we can be successful defensively. So for us, it's more a question of, hey, is our mind in the right place? Are we engaged for 90 minutes? Are we doing the hard, gritty, little stuff that puts us in a good position instead of just reacting to everything? And I felt like today with Rooney and Acosta and Ariola and whoever else was attacking us, we were just reacting. We weren't playing rest defense the way that we could so that we can anticipate, so we can cut out plays. Everything was reacting. And, and maybe it is a little bit of fatigue, but everyone's dealing with what we're dealing with, so there's no excuse for that. There's five games left. We know that we have a very important week to regroup because we're going to go against a team that is desperate and they're going to need every single point. So this week we'll recuperate, we'll refresh, but more than anything, we'll make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're all locked in so that we can get back to the way that we've been playing all year. Thanks. 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 Thanks.